So let's review naming ionic and covalent compounds and make sure that we can tell when to use charges in the crisscross method and when to just use prefixes to let us know what the subscripts should be. So we'll start here with iodine heptafluoride. So I have iodine, which is a nonmetal, and heptafluoride, which is also a nonmetal. So I'm looking at covalent compounds and I see those prefixes in the name or that one prefix. So that tells me that I'm looking at a covalent compound. So iodine is I, and there's no prefix there, which means I only need one, and then heptafluoride, so I'll write F for the symbol, and hepta is the prefix for seven, so iodine heptafluoride has the formula IF7. So next we have barium oxide, barium, is a metal and oxide is the name of oxygen's negative ion. And so I can see that I'm looking at an ionic compound, so I need to find their charges and then do the crisscross method. So barium is in group two, so it has a charge of plus two, and oxygen is in group 16, so it has a negative two charge. And notice that plus two and minus two means that those are gonna cancel, so I only need one of each, so I don't need to crisscross, I just need to write one of each. And the formula for barium oxide is BaO. Next, I have triphosphorus pentoxide. So triphosphorus and pentoxide. So this is clearly a covalent compound. I can see those prefixes. So that means this is pretty easy. So triphosphorus, so P, and then the prefix tri means three, and then pentoxide, so I'll write the symbol for oxygen, and penta is five, so the formula for triphosphorus pentoxide is P3O5. All right, so here we have sodium chromate. So sodium is a metal, and when I see this eight, that clues me in that I'm looking at a polyatomic ion, and I can actually see that chromate is a polyatomic ion, so I've got a metal, I've got a polyatomic ion, this is clearly an ionic compound, so I'm gonna find their charges, and then crisscross. So sodium is in group one, that means it has a plus one charge, and I'll just get chromates, formula, and charge off of my polyatomic ion list. So now I just need to crisscross, and I get Na2CrO4, and that is the formula for sodium chromate. And finally here we have copper 2 bromide. So copper is a metal, and Bromide is the ion of bromine, that's a nonmetal. So that means I'm looking at an ionic compound, so I need to find their charges and then crisscross. So I have copper two, so copper, and that Roman numeral tells me that the charge of the copper ion is plus two. Then I have bromide, which is Br, and because it's in group 17, it has a negative one charge. So then I just crisscross and write my formula. So the formula for copper two bromide is CuBr2. So I hope this video has helped you review writing formulas for ionic and covalent compounds. Keep up the great work and I'll see you next time.